Ja. Yeah. Yeah. Come, come. Hey, hello. Hey, listen. Come on. Come on, mom. Listen. You're not a queen. You're not a queen. Listen. You're barely a princess. Yeah. Hello. 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 <laughs> If you're looking for a good time, good time. <laughs> then you came to the right place. Cause right now we about to get lit. Got something cooking in the pot. Okay. So you should grab a seat and take a shot. Cause this vibe is about to come. Come me in the kitchen, I'm gonna serve in the dish. They either hate it or they love it, but they know what I won't miss. Cause who came to with the vocals, least to be with a hit. Shout out to Steel Magazine, let them know we the shit. Disturbingly. Yo, we gotta call a spade a spade. We gotta call it how we see it. All right. Yo, welcome to uh, Disturbingly Random. Brought to you by Still Mag. Uh, I am Rome, um, your host. Um, I'm gonna be here. All right. All right. So let's get right down to it. Um, a lot of things been going on. We've been out of the loop. Uh, COVID had everybody taking the back seat to a lot of the creative, getting the creative juices out. Or whatever but i've noticed that a lot of uh web series and and creatives have been uh making it more i don't think like the podcast space has taken a dip i think like a lot more people doing podcasts have actually uh surfaced um but whereas uh where um web series are, are are concerned i think that everybody started like taking you know taking time off or sitting back or whatever have you. Um, and with that being said, maybe you gotta give props to the people who kept pushing straight through. Actually, I give props to everybody. Give props to even to the people who had to take a, you know what I'm saying, who had to take a break because you gotta realize these guys, man, they put a lot of work into it. Um, I'm speaking about, um, you know, from the from the web series like um, Vengeance, from Forced Descent to the Recession to Respect Life. Um, and well, I'm gonna get through those real quick and anything, all right? Um, so like first and foremost, you gotta give props to my man Ray Lou. Ray Lou never took a break. It seems like Ray Lou has been pushing through you know, from, from get go. Like Ray Lou, he kept going with his Foster Sin series. You should go check that out. Um, and he also um, did a, a horror movie called In Vain. Check that out. And they, they horror film, right? All of this is on YouTube. Uh, you know, I think Ray Lutov on Tubi as well. And anything with his content. Need to check that out. Anything. Q, um, man, Q and anything who's uh, from LM um, 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 Productions. Um, hope I didn't get that wrong. And anything. But uh, Q, um, he has a um, Vengeance web series. And uh, he has some other projects that he's working on over there. Super creative dude. And anything out of Jersey. All right. Check him out. Um, uh, my man Gat Murder, he was with uh, the Brooklyn Way for a minute. I'm not really sure if he still is and anything, but um, I haven't seen much from the Brooklyn. But they do got a whole bunch of lately. I haven't seen a lot of a lot from them, but they do have a bunch of episodes up and a couple of seasons up that you want to catch up on. Because uh, when those guys and anything, they turn that camera back on, they start creating again and bringing you more episodes, and you don't want to be behind. Trust me. We got the recession and anything with um with uh Maurice Paramore. Um uh, the recession, they're coming back for season two. Um listen man, season one was dope. I didn't even finish season one, but what I've seen so far and anything has been dope. Um you wanna catch up on that and anything right now before they get into the next season. Trust me. Um uh who else? Oh Jay Carolina, he was from you know uh, another web series, anything um with my man Sean Lane. Um, over there, uh, and now Jay, um, Jay Carolina, he has a, a movie and everything called The Alternate Hustle. You want to check that out. I think he's in the second episode or third episode. 
Hey, I, but you want to check that out. And they, a lot of these dudes, these super creative dudes, man, they don't stop. You know, they, they just don't stop. And they didn't go on OT by um, by uh, Mr. Gorsi. Gorsi. I hope I'm not saying that wrong. But I have Miz from uh, Money of Violence. Check that out. Nathan, dope, uh, dope, dope um, web series that he got. You know what I'm saying? He's bringing out all, to, all by himself. I don't know what happened between him and uh, him and uh, Mo over at uh, Money of Violence and anything. But, you know. Let's see what happens and anything with him with going OT. All right. Um, and by the way, uh, Mo from Money and Violence did start writing for um, writing for a, a show that was on TV um, with uh, Farge Whitaker. Uh, what was it called? The, the Last Godfather, I think it's called. Um, well, but uh, it was on TV and anything, whatever. But the point that I'm making is like there's a lot of there's a lot of creatives and anything from who's on on um on YouTube and on Tubi and on the internet, Nathan, who are just as good or even better than what you're seeing, Nathan, on the big screen or whatever. Um, so give them a shot, give them a chance, Nathan, check out some of their work or whatever like that. And, you know, um, and, and trust me, Nathan, the support goes a long way. The support actually takes them to that next level so that, you know, maybe you might see them in Hollywood or we could just create our own Hollywood. How about that? You know, how about that? All right. So, um, I'm gonna sign off. Oh, check out Tough Love too. Tough Love, man, they, that's another web series. Let's do. Check that out. Um, I just saw Tough Love Atlanta, um, which is kind of crazy because it started off. I think it was Tough Love New York is where it started. At least that's where I started watching that. And um, check it out. And anything Tough Love uh, Atlanta. Um, they even probably had a Tough Love LA. You know um, the way that show is going. They, it looks. They shot that like it's a you know like it's a show right for TV. All right, but check it out. All right, um, I guess that's all I got for you right now. All right, um, everybody want to know where the hell is Romello? Anything, right? there's a whole bunch of stories circulating around. Anything, when I say Romello, everybody know. Everybody in the web series world know exactly what I'm talking about. We're talking about Romello from Respect Life. And anything, um, we want to know where the hell is Romello, man. Romello, listen, whatever you're going through, whatever, you know, whatever's going on, anything, I hope everything's, uh, I hope everything's returning back to normal, or at least one day it will be. And in the meantime, and anything, hey, just like we watch Respect Life, we respect you guys' process over there, and we like what you're doing and anything. I know it's you know, a slow grind now at this point, anything, but uh, we like what you're doing and what you're trying to do and anything. We're here for it. You know what I mean? All right, so uh, signing off. Yo, this is Romay, Disturbly Random, uh, brought to you by Still. Um, yo, I'm gonna come back and do this again. Of course, there's always going to be more content to talk about and anything we're looking forward to telling you all about, about it. All right, yo, we out. Peace.